All right, what up YouTube? It's Plock the Master Gamer here, and we're back at it with some Fable the Lost Chapters. Now, this is a video for you mages out there. You know, if you wanted to make a build where you're focusing on the power of the will, you know, you're making yourself some sort of mage build. This is the video for you because I'm going to be showing you how to get both will users robes for the cost of like, what, 20 gold, pretty much? Uh, so basically you're getting the bright will user set and you're getting the dark will user set for just 20 gold. And I'll show you how here real quick. First things first, I just wanna show you guys, I haven't even completed the wasp menace yet, nor have I started it. So you can do this at the beginning of the game. All you need is 40 gold. Um, although I do recommend that you have a little bit more than that. And oh god, I'm fucked. Let me see. I have enough money here. I do you advice. wouldn't be doing this at the beginning of the game. I just realized that I am at the beginning of the game though, so I'm gonna want at least something to help me out here. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna want to go to Oakvale, and you're gonna go to this shop here, because you are going to specifically need a rose for this. Uh, so we're just gonna buy that real quick, and again, it's only like 20 gold or something. Uh, I think that's about the maximum you'll end up spending on it is 20 gold. Um, so we're going to go to the inventory and we're going to attach that down here. And then we're going to teleport to the Great Wood Cullis Gate. Once you're at the Great Sorry. Wood Cullis Gate, you're going to go fork over here to the Rose Cottage, which um, is appropriately named the Rose Cottage because you're going to be giving a rose to this demon door here, oh, which he will back. let you in, of course. And this is where we get the Bright Will Users set. Now that we've completed that, it's off to Darkwood. Um, so we're gonna run past Darkwood's entrance here. Um, this part of it, you're gonna need to fight this guy's guardians. Um, <clears throat> But who knows how this will go? I have a pretty good weapon, um, so this shouldn't be too difficult for me. So they're not they're not too difficult, but if you are just starting out, you probably won't have the best equipment, and it might be a little difficult to destroy, actually. Especially when you get to this part here with the big red dude. Although this is the final stage, so it seems like I am looking through this pretty quick. Um, it does look like it does look like I am starting to kind of get my ass handed to here. Um, and I am starting to run out of food and potions, it seems. But I did get them all. Um, probably with the help of this master sword here. Uh, but this is, of course, if you've seen my older videos, where you get the Dark Will User set. Uh, so yeah, for the cost of 20 gold, and of course a little bit of elbow grease to fight those minions, um, you can get both the Dark Will User set. Let's see if I can step into the light here a little bit. So you can get the Dark Will User set, which honestly is kind of my favorite. It's pretty wicked looking, and a lot of these pieces look really good with other um, you know, pieces of armor. And of course, the one that actually uh, costs money. I mean, really, really you're getting the dark ones for free. You're really only spending 20 gold for this one. But the whole point is that you can get them both for the cost of 20 gold combined. I mean, it's the cheapest armor in the game, basically at that price. Uh, although it doesn't provide any armor bonus. I mean, they both look pretty good. I don't really like the the bright one that much, but they both look pretty good. They're, neither of them are that bad. Let me show you this real quick. Of course, there's not really any armor potential from these. You got, what, 487, which is the same as your apprentice outfit. It's the same as your villager outfit. Um, even my incomplete plate, <laughs> even my incomplete plate mail suit provides more armor than that. Uh, my leather suit, uh, although it's also incomplete, seems to provide the same amount. Although I'm not sure if that's actually true or not. I'm a little confused on how exactly that works. Uh, but yeah, both will users robes for 20 gold not a bad deal at all so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you found it useful uh, especially all you mages out there uh, there's not really many uh armor choices if you're a mage you're pretty much stuck to using normal armor which you know is kind of lame but you know it is what it is uh, if you have your physical shield spell i guess it really doesn't matter what kind of armor you're wearing so uh this is this is pretty much all you really need 
if you are playing, you know, an actual mage build. So it's not the worst thing in the world that it doesn't have any armor rating, uh, but it also doesn't provide any sort of benefits either, other than just looking pretty badass, which it definitely does. It looks pretty cool, especially the dark ones. Uh, so yeah, I hope you mages out there found this video useful. I hope anybody else out there found it useful. Uh, if you found it useful or if you enjoyed it or whatever, make sure you leave a like. And as always, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see any more of this content or any of my other gaming content. And with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable the Lost chapters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.